I bet this is much new and uh, here is the game that you sent me, the last one. Um, you are playing here with white against the computer program Shredder and um, I was looking at the PGM file where it says that the level of play of Shredder in this game is 2300. That's um, how you set the, um, the engine but looking at the moves in this game I have the impression that the level of black here is much lower. It's um, sometimes it, one one reason for that could be, for example, that you the computer where you that you are using is perhaps not uh, not uh, fast enough to reach the level of play that the uh, chess program promises. Um, but it's, it is very instructive to see how you with white, let's say, punish this this weak moves that black does so now and then and especially it's it's um it's because it's it's actually looks like like black doesn't have any plan at some point and uh, uh his pieces are not well coordinated but let's have a look at the game move by move that's the best so you start with d4 he plays d5 and now you go on with bishop to f4 uh, bishop to f4 is uh, well a move that we see sometimes and actually it's a very flexible move because you keep the option open of playing queen's gambit later with c4 or going for a type of uh, london system with this uh, this type of setup um, black answers knight to f6 and now you play knight to c3 so now it's clear you're not going to play the queen's gambit and after e6 you continue with a3 and you write in your own commentary here that um, it looks a bit like a wasting of time this a3 but your idea is to prevent bishop to b4 so you can cancel queenside later and yes this move prevents indeed bishop to b4 and um, well, I think it's a bit too early to already decide that you're going to uh, to cast a queen side because it depends on what black does, of course. I mean, just imagine that one black would uh, try to set up something like uh, a6 and b5, or perhaps c5, and then I don't know if it would be very safe to castle on the queen side, seeing all these pawns advancing so fast on the queen side. So it's um, let's say castling queen side is an idea, but let it not be a decision already. Let's see. Bishop to e7, queen to d2, castle king side, and there you go, you castle queen side. Now this leads immediately to a very sharp situation. Opposite size castling and um, here black continues with bishop to d7 and you play calmly e3 preparing to bring your light square bishop out to d3 for example where you have this idea of attacking his king together with the pawn storm advancing g4 h4 uh, with the right preparation now black here plays a move that I don't really like, this knight to h5. Um, your reaction was knight to h3. And, well, I think there is a stronger reaction. You see, because with knight to h3 you allow him to take on f4 and you retake with the knight, so actually you are giving the bishop's pair. Uh, and I think that here it would be a better idea to play bishop to g3 because if he then wants to uh, to capture the bishop then you have an open h-file you retake here with the h-pawn and this now you have clearly compensation for this uh, this bishop's pair that has disappeared uh, so probably here black should better not take on g3 but play something like f5 and then return with this uh, with this knight to, uh, to f6 so he has strong control over this central square e4 something like that um, but anyway knight to h3 or oh, wait uh, here knight h3 it's um, I don't I don't really like it I find that that is you're giving uh, one of your weapons away without clear compensation 
and at this point um, black plays knight to c6 and I find this not the correct plan for black if we look at this position and we look at the pawn structure and we look at the side where both uh, players are, are castled then it's clear that black should start an attack on the queen side so here it should not block a C pawn, it should actually advance his C pawn immediately. C5 would be a very strong move here. Hmm. Preparing an attack and opening the C file, placing later a rook on C8 and having threats against C3 and perhaps A3 as well. So it's a bit strange that he plays knight to C6 now. You continue with um, bishop to E2. Now he plays F5. and you continue with g4 and your own commentary here is that g4 seems weakening uh, but your idea behind it is to launch a pawn, an attack on the queen on the king side to advance these pawns uh, and that's something that's um, very good uh, it's absolutely correct to the correct plan to open the g file place later your rook from d1 to oops, sorry arrow to g1 and then advance the other pawns and start an attack on the king side that's certainly the correct plan so I find that g4 here is a good move it's, uh, it's not weakening it's absolutely according to the um, the correct approach here looking at the, the position it takes on g4 and after you take with the bishop there is another weakness here e6 that is attacked by two of your pieces f4, the knight on f4 and the, the bishop on g4 uh, I find that here the um, the position is clearly better for uh, for white already you have the initiative, you are attacking on the king side you have this open g-file and black's attack on the queen side uh, hasn't started yet rook to f6 played by black to defend the pawn on e6 and now you continue logically with rook from d1 to, f to g1 now here black plays a5 I find this a bit of a strange move, I mean on one hand of course he needs to try to find play on the queen side so advancing the pawns on the queen side is logical but this a pawn advance is a bit strange I would expect that black would advance the b pawn perhaps here immediately b5 is possible let's have a short look b5 sacrificing this pawn with the idea of after knight takes b5 to play rook to b8 and then having this half open b file to start an attack um, I think that if in this position here if this is a game that uh, if this game would have been played by two human players so black also a human opponent then he would decide something like this like b5 and I think that the computer perhaps um, puts too much emphasis on material so he perhaps calculated the move b5 and knight x5 rook b8 but he saw that he's losing a pawn and he's not getting concrete uh, compensation um, so then he rejects this line and chooses for another move that is in fact weaker so that's maybe one of the difference between computers and, uh, and human players is that human players use ideas uh, long-term ideas, plans and the computer use mainly calculation let's return to the game now because he plays a5 and then you continue with h4 your idea is to advance this pawn to try to break open this defense of the black king rook to h6 played now by black and you play h5 now you write here that your idea is to lock this rook on h6 and if the rook moves then you can advance h6 and uh, rip open this 
this uh, defense of black bishop to d6 not played now he wants to remove your nicely placed uh, knight on f4 and you want to prevent that so that's I think absolutely the correct decision here to move the knight away to d3 um, here again a very very passive move by black the move b6 and I don't understand this this uh, this b6 move. I mean, with the moves a5 and b6, black has actually simply lost time instead of creating counter threats. And in this type of sharp positions, if if with black you don't create immediately counter threats, then you give white so much time to to attack on the king side, and that's what happened in this game. You played here f3. Oops, I'm sorry, f3 here, and I wonder. Well, I mean, the idea is, is, is clear. You want to go with your king to the uh, to the G file, um, but I wonder why not F4 immediately. I don't know if you thought about that. Um, perhaps you thought that if you would play F4, let me show it like this. Perhaps you thought that you would have less control over E4. But remember that the F pawn can also become at some point a weapon if you oh sorry if you threaten at some point to advance this. I mean it's it's not right now because right now playing F5 would perhaps even help Black in activating his bishop on D7. But later this can become important and also with the pawn on F4 prevents eventually this freeing move of Black E5. So that's why I thought perhaps f4 is better than f3 now here the computer answered a4 again not really doing something queen to g2 very good idea placing all your pieces on this g file preparing an attack and already threatening bishop takes e6 followed by queen takes g7 so black answers queen to e7 to defend the g7 point and now you play f4 now here comes I find the, the weakest move of the computer rook to a6 this is doing nothing this is so so strange there is no human player who would play rook to a6 in this position it's um, I mean it would be much logical to already uh, anticipate to the, 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 the danger against g7 by playing king to h8 and perhaps try to defend strongly and then later bring this rook to the king side as well perhaps something like that I don't know if it would be enough but it would be at least have some some logic behind it but the move rook to a6 is something that it doesn't do anything I mean there is no point in placing this rook on the 6th rank if you don't have another rook that can go to a8 so you can then advance perhaps this pawn to break open this and then play a3 and use these two rooks on the a file but that's not, not the case so why black is doing this I really don't understand this is the moment when I thought 2300 is impossible actually earlier in the game I thought it already but this is actually the clear, clear proof that the level of, uh, of play of black is really much 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 lower perhaps this move is well no I'm not going to, to, to mention another rating um, knight to e5 play now placing your knight on a strong square wanting to trade the light square bishop that's what you write in your own commentary here so then e6 becomes even weaker mm. he chooses to take this knight on e5 with his knight um, that means that black has calculated that if you retake with the f pawn, his bishop on e6, on, I'm sorry, on d6, will be locked in completely, but he wants to sacrifice it on a3. Now, this is a logical idea. If black waits, then the attack of white will simply 
become too powerful. So he needs to create some counter counter attack, counter threats. And this is what happened in the game. Now let me return one moment because here, if he would have taken with the bishop, bishop takes e5. After f takes e5, you have you have a very nice position with white. Black doesn't have any direct counter threats. This uh, this knight on c6 is not really doing doing uh, much. Perhaps he could try to go to a5 and then to c4, but he's kind of slow. Um, so in that sense, uh, well, yeah, taking with the knight and going for a sacrifice here on a3, it's something that perhaps will give Blank some practical chances. You take on a3, he takes with the queen check, and now your king escapes to d2. Again, you have the threat of bishop takes e6 and attack with queen and rook on g7. So he needs to defend g7. So he goes back with the queen to e7. We see now how horribly placed his rooks are. Both rooks actually, not only the one on a6, the other one on h6 is also very badly placed there. Now you play rook to h3. Um, the idea, of course, is to bring the rook to the h file. Oh, sorry, to the g file, to attack g7. Your pieces are working together well. The only piece that is not really involved in the attack is this uh, this knight on c3. But if we look at what pieces are defending, well, this is out of the defense, and this is also out of the defense, and this is also out of the defense of g7. So, attacking the pawn on g7 is absolutely a uh, a winning idea. Now black plays c6, very passive, very slow, doesn't improve his position. Rook to g3. And here you write that you you played this too hasty and that um, you missed that bishop to e2 would be a good alternative. So here in this position play bishop to e2. Yeah, of course you are attacking here the rook on a6 and you are attacking g7 but g7 is well defended so the rook could go to either a7 or a8 and then you can place the rook to g3 um, in the other order, move order the one that was played in the game first rook to g3 well I find this, I like this because now you are threatening bishop to e2 with immediately threatening two things taking the rook and taking on g7. So I don't find this weaker than uh, than bishop to e2. You place a rook to a7 here and now you move your queen to the f-file, queen to f2. Your idea is a, a very interesting plan, is to bring the queen to f4 so you can at certain point threaten to take this rook because this pawn is pinned and that's what happened in the game, he plays queen to a3 I don't see the direct threat perhaps, what does he want to advance b5, b4, something like that, I don't know, this queen is I don't know, it's not, it's actually mo moving the queen away from the defense without having any direct threat here on the, king's, on the queen side so queen to f4 is a very very strong move now um, and I think that it's, it's impossible to hold the black position now already this is uh, he's going to lose he plays now king to h8 but it's it's too late queen to f7 is your move, excellent move all your pieces working together against this point g7 now he plays g5 but that doesn't help because you take on e6 yeah and, th and this is now all over you are threatening checkmate on, um, on g8 and there is no way to prevent this there is no way to prevent this if he um, takes on e6 well what can you do? You can take the rook, you can also give this beautiful check on e8 that's placing the bishop together and then take on g5 
and how is he going to defend now this bishop on g8 looks impossible so it's completely lost here so well actually summarizing I must say that it's very good how you um, brought your forces together on this king side to attack his, uh, his king opening the g-file placing the rooks on the g-file attacking on that side your pieces were well coordinated that's a very good thing um, the the play of black was weak I mean okay I'm not going to say it another time but I showed you already what I meant by that so um, perhaps the next time place putting the uh, the um, the settings of the computer differently so it, 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 it gives you some uh, some more counterplay uh, but a good training game all right, I'll um, I'll stop right now here, and uh, I'll see you next time on YouTube. Goodbye.